how to get tons of attention from women. You know, this video was a $20 Patreon request by my man Carlos. He pledged $20 and asked for a topic. Basically, he asked me, you know, how do I stop being invisible to women? So I thought I would do a video and call it, you know, how to get tons of attention from women. Now, I know this is a mid tow channel and I usually talk about men going their own way and, you know, how can we, how we can avoid pitfalls and traps and, and build ourselves and be successful. But the reality is there are still some guys that are going to want to date. There are still guys that are going to want to, you know, hook up with women. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to, you know, of course, give them the advice on how to do so, you know, if they choose to. So how to get tons of attention from women? You know, let's pretend you're an invisible guy. Let's pretend you're an average guy. You know, you have a decent job, you know, typical car. You wear average clothes. Um, you don't really have anything that stands out about you. You know, the thing about women is they, they, you have to fit into a certain category to be attractive to women. See, women, they're very status oriented. They're very kind of petty like that. They want a guy they can show off to their friends. They want a guy that fits a certain category. You know, for example, um, they want you to, to be something they can show off. You know, you have to fit into a certain category and then you will attract that sort of niche group of women. You know, like if you're the jock, if you're the football player, or, you know, if you're the emo rock star, you know, or if you're the prison thug, you know, ripped black guy, you know, or you're the, you're like the gangster, you know, who wears the suits, you know, there's different categories that attract different women. Not all women are attracted to the same things, right? And you have to find, you know, which category you fit into to be attractive to which demographic of women you want, right? You know, for example... I'll use myself as an example. I have this, like, you know, little, like, mobster, gangster swag about me, you know, so I attract women that are into that sort of subculture or that demographic, you know, I attract, I, and, 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 you know, I'm not going to lie, you know, your complexion, your race might play a part to a degree, like, I'm kind of tan, I'm kind of dark, you know, so I attract mostly white women and black women, surprisingly. Because white women like that I'm darker than them. They like that, like, kind of gives me this masculine look that I'm darker than them, right? Um, I'm not, like, pale. I'm, like, kind of golden brown, right? <laughs> and then black women like me because I'm not super black like the men they are used to. They think I'm, you know, as they say, light-skinned, light-skinned, right? So, so black women like me because I'm lighter and white women like me because I'm darker. So those are the two groups of women I seem to attract the most, right? Now, the women I seem to have trouble with uh, are like Spanish women and Asian women. For some reason, they don't seem to like me. For some reason, Spanish women, I guess I look too much like them, but I'm not Spanish, so we don't relate on a cultural level. And then Asian women, <laughs> they seem to go for rich white men because they have an agenda a lot of the time. But the point is that it's kind of a combination of your looks and your swagger, right? You know, me just looking darker that's not enough to just attract the white women and the black women that I seem to attract. I also have a certain energy about myself. I have this like tough guy energy and they seem to thrive on that. Other groups of women might not thrive on that, you know. Um, and, and here's the thing. I'm not saying I can get all white women and all black women. I can just get the ones that are attracted to my, you know, personality. There are certain like, uh, there are certain black women that only go for the six foot two prison thug you know, with muscles, and he weighs like 250 pounds. There are those women I'll probably never be able to attract. There are certain white women that only go for the, you know, Channing Tatum looking guy. I might not be able to attract them. But the point is, when you find your swagger, when you find something about yourself that's attractive, and every guy has this, right? Every guy has a little thing about himself that he needs to bring out of himself and kind of show off and, and define himself with, and he's going to attract his own little subgroup of women, you know, he's going to have his own little group of, you know, 10, 20 women or whatever that are into that thing, that are into that style, and then you're good, and then you have, you know, your your own little harem, I suppose, to choose from. It's all about finding what makes you attractive. You might have the, uh, I don't know, you might be the guy with all the tattoos, you might be the motorcycle guy, you might be the, the corporate CEO swagger type of guy, you know, there are women that are attracted to all these different types of men, you know. Um, there's, there's all kinds of different, you might be the lumberjack guy who has the beard and the, you know, plaid shirts with the axe, you know, women like the lumberjack guy, 
You might be the Michael Phelps swimmer guy. You know, you might be the soccer guy. You know, I've had women that weren't really into me before. And then I told them like I play a sport, like I told them I was in boxing. All of a sudden they like me now because I fit some little group and I can fit her little fantasy. You know, women have a fantasy that you need to fit into for them to be attracted to you. You need to like, it's, it's, and look guys, this is retarded. Like the way women think is retarded as hell. This is the dumbest stuff I've ever experienced, but it's just the reality. <laughs> you know, it's just the truth, right? So when I told this girl I'm a boxer, all of a sudden I'm hot now. Like my looks weren't enough, but I tell her I'm a boxer. Now it's like, oh, he's a boxer. He can protect me. I can go to his fights. And it just feeds into whatever stupid fairy tale she has. You know, by you finding your own little swagger and your own personality, you you fit into certain girls because they all have this Disney princess, you know, they've been brainwashed by these Disney movies. So you, you'll fit her little Disney fantasy, you know, because I'm darker, I'm Middle Eastern. A lot of girls who watch the movie Aladdin as a kid, um, I fit into their Aladdin fantasy. So these girls that used to have a crush on Aladdin, now they have a crush on me because I'm like the real life version of Aladdin to them. As retarded as that sounds, this is what it. This is what attracts women. Like this is how how feeble minded they are, you know. Because she likes Aladdin, she likes me, so I can bang her and date her. It's that retarded. So you just have to find your own subgroup of women where you can be like their Aladdin, you know. And it's not maybe not Aladdin. Maybe you can be Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> maybe you can be I don't know. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey guy, you know, there's there's different little fairy tales that different women were into and you can fit that fairy tale depending on something about yourself that you know how to show off and bring out. And, and like I said, guys, this is absolutely retarded, but this is the way women are. So find find something about yourself that's unique. Find something about yourself that fits a certain uh, fantasy that they that certain women have and you will attract those women that are, you know, into that fantasy, you know, and that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, that's how you get tons of attention from women.